Um, yeah, I'm accidentally, I accidentally shot there because I pressed Control Alt R to stop. Or yeah, to stop the recording. And Control is also the shoot button. So Marvin, let's see, do you have anything on you? No. Let's change that. Um, I would certainly like you to have that blank disc. So I bet those other... Uh, can you... Okay, you can't close a door, damn it. I would have legitimately thought about trying to... Well, okay, I will at least give you a shovel. Nothing. Also, wow, he has a lot of health. He's also slow. He only has 12 agility. Still, better than no companion. He said left and then left. He's only annoyed. He's not hostile. Oh, I can shop? No, maybe he doesn't like me enough for that, I guess. These aren't loose, that's nice. Okay, one of them is loose, but not the other. Whew. Marvin. Okay, and that's that one. That one's loose. I wonder, is there a way to fix loose planks or something? Ah, shit, he fell down. Well, he's going to teleport. Right? He's going to teleport? Oh, right, I don't actually have the key with me. Ah, oh, there he is. Good. for me. We'll find your gun soon enough. Yeah, I would prefer that too, because it means I have to kill less people. You return. Hmm, I don't have one, sadly. Nice! Okay, why are the... Okay, good. So they are in little groups and I only have to kill the one in the group. And everything is fine. That's good. I was fearing I have to kill all of them before... Um... 
Shit, I don't have a shovel anymore. Um, the dude who died might have had something on him. Yep, here we go. Got an axe. And a copper coin. He doesn't need it anymore. Oh boy. What the fuck? Nope. Not gonna go down there. It's been ages since I actually shouted at a video game. Even biomass. Of course, now I find loose dirt. Oh god. Shit. Damn it! Oh, I left clicked. I mean, that might not have killed him either way. Oof, so kill it. Yeah, sniping these hunter ghouls is gonna be. Tricky, but doable. Hey, Marvin. Okay, so... Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see that here. Take the key. Let's keep all of that here. What's the point? Right, there was nothing back there. See what that uh, corpse over there has on him. So, how's everyone's day today? It's uh, a nice patch you have there. Looking good. Okay, some 10 millimeter ammo. And I need the shovel. Hold on, uh, I can just unlock the door. And another key. Not sure what that might be good for. Fit for a simple wooden door. I wonder if it's for the uh, the doors that we destroyed earlier. If so, it serves no purpose. Whatever, let's keep it on us for now. We can always just drop it. We really need space for other stuff. Actually, no. That's safe. Because I'm probably gonna die again. I wonder if all the sidetracking here will have any 
effect on the Pachutla affair. Let's get ready to kill some hunter scavs, ghouls, scav ghouls, hunter ghouls, yeah. Damn it. I should have scaled more into pistols. Just hoping a little bit that Marvin could teach me. But yeah, this seems like it's gonna be a huge Tron and error affair. Just depends a lot on whether my gun wants to shoot straight and where exactly the hunter scav is gonna position himself. Unless I decide to just go, uh, and throw grenades at him. That might make Marvin unhappy. And I feel like having some allies down here in the, the Topa tracks might be a good idea. He also seems like a decent researcher. So, might be useful too. You return. Wait, he can't train me. Pistols? Damn it. Can increase my vitality though, which is good, I guess. Let's get some of that. Anything else he has? Charisma? No, of course not. Some survival skills. Huh, chemistry, medicine. Just with that. Definitely want that medkit efficiency. Oh, nice. It actually even... I, I was thinking I have to heal myself up to my new maximum health, but actually I don't. Well, just like last time, one died. Nice. Okay, this is already gonna make all of this a lot more doable. Hmm, I guess two of them died. Good thing that one of them had a melee weapon. Pipes are a lot weaker than an axe. Who would have thought? I think there was not nothing. Oh no. I was gonna say I thought there was nothing useful on this uh, crate, but no, I was wrong. Yeah, let's not meddle with that. Do I want to go back and save? I do. I absolutely do. It's kind of annoying, I guess, but... As I said, this game is hard enough. Let's not take any unnecessary risks here.
I don't know why saving takes so long. I mean, this engine is originally from the year 2000. So I can imagine that maybe there's some stuff that's not all that optimized for newer systems and conveniences. Actually, three people died this time. Too bad. So I guess on the other side of that is that demon thing that rolled at us after we destroyed the boulder. the demon An engine muffler for itching no I don't need that it doesn't have anything so is there anywhere else to go or do I have to meddle with the, the orbs here or the demon Last gaps. These seem like more interesting for a crafting oriented character, I guess. Small pipe. No thanks. So Marvin, do you have an idea? You return. I am home again. Uh, okay, so we can see if we can meddle with the, the little orbs or kill that weird rolling insect demon thing. Also, it's actually bright now. Interesting. Didn't know that uh, daylight reaches down into caves like this. I think at least it's brighter than before, or am I just seeing things? There's also the demon biomass, but I have no idea what to do with that. Okay. Do we have to touch these in the right order, or is that it? I guess so. that makes the demon biomass disappear. Nope. I mean, it did tell me to get closer to use it, but I still can't use it. Oh, right, there's also the red one over here. Echoes of a loud biological gurgle. Okay, well, I guess that made the...
carrion demon, huh? Great. That looks like I'll slide down, so I will not go that way. Untouched filth. My, I've been touched in lots of places in that prison cell. I do not like you talking like that about me. Hmm. And, I mean, that, that can happen to everyone. Why is this just a random chance? N equals 1 studies are never very convincing to me. Oh shit! Damn it. He is... a wild boss. Let's just say. I was thinking about going back and saving. Maybe I should have. Because everything went pretty well that time, up until uh, I faced him. So yeah, that uh, spit attack is pretty damn dangerous. I wish that, uh, that ghoul in the back wasn't there. Just trying to kite him around, shooting the barrels when he gets close to them seems simple enough, but uh, having to deal with getting shot by him, that complicates things. I don't want to kill him. Oh, no. Not going that way. Not yet. Wait a second, does that just back to the entrance? No. Okay, um, this time I am gonna go back and save after killing the next uh, hunter here. Well, not quite, actually. There was a crate to smash, I think. Right. I forgot what was in here. A rag. I'll take it. Other than that, I think that just led straight to Stink Eye. So yeah, let's go back. Save, come back, and kill that dude. Wait, this way. This game wants me to lose my mind. I'm not having it. I'm gonna backtrack to this stupid bed to save as much as I want. And I'm not gonna go crazy.
So I assume toxin grenades are gonna be kind of useless against them, right? I think they're immune against that. The uh, the hunters, the ghouls, anyways. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, four other med kits, three other detox pills. Damn it! I was not quick enough on that. Should have used the hotkeys I mentioned instead of trying to use the mouse wheel. I wish there was a way to actually drag stuff around in your inventory, but I guess you just have to drop it and pick it up in the right order to get stuff on hotkeys that you want. Because having something on 9 or 0 still seems a lot less convenient than having it on 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5. Um, I think like, dragging him back to the other ghouls is also not a bad idea. They will attack him after all. I wonder if that ghoul who was standing in the back must actually maybe shooting at him but hitting me because I just ran between them. I certainly don't regret getting that extra health. It's necessary, I would say. I wish I could get some support with me. I mean, I have some. The good thing is he seems to kind of ignore the other ghouls and mostly go for me. Oh no, they are going for me because he's near now, okay. Damn it. Use it. Use that too while you're at it, and now... Ah, shit! Okay, so actually dragging him to the other ghouls is not a good idea. I want to keep him as far away from them as possible, because they will turn on me. And that dude also takes a lot of uh, hits, it seems. The barrels really seem the way to go. Problem is hitting them. I wish I could aim for shit with this pistol. But I can't. Grenades still seem... Maybe like a good idea, but he's fast. Getting them to actually explode on him might be difficult. And they will probably also set up the barrels around if I'm not careful, and that might not be a good idea, or it might be a waste of the barrels. But then if I, you know, if I have trouble, uh, trouble actually using them against them anyway, so what's, you know, nothing of value is lost. I am home. I still can't get him to follow me. I wish he wasn't wasn't able to do that spit attack. What a waste. What a waste. Also, I should go back this way, probably. Ah, shit. I have to take this. Use it. Oh, God. Now they're all coming for me. Ah, they really like following me around, don't they? Uh. Interesting thing though is that he was a lot further back this time. I guess if if I uh, if I'm fast, 
can get him to be a little further back in the cave. Which I think is a good thing. He's closer to the barrels. I might be able to get a hit in on him with the barrels that way. Also, I might just have to kill whatever ghouls I find back there. It also seems the caves go on quite a bit in the back, so maybe I can find a better spot down there. It also seems there's a delay between switching items, so before you can actually use them. So... Using the med kit to out heal the damage he does is a little more difficult than it seems at first glance. I don't have great ghoul placement here, I guess. It'd be cool if they were all a little further back. What? I'm already nearly dead. I just healed myself. Oh god, even more of them. Ah, shit. Oh, man, this inventory management is abysmal. Where are you? Oh, shit, there he is. Well, I am dead. There's no way I can beat this guy currently. I, not with the other ghouls around. If the others at least weren't there, that would make things a lot better, but... Like either that or there's a very specific trick to him. He didn't even seem to be very hurt. I mean, I think he was hurt at worst. Which I don't think is that much damage. So... I'm almost... Like, I'm gonna give it one more attempt. And then, I think I might just leave him behind for now. You return. Excellent. See, can he... No. Yeah, just two more life points. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but... But yeah, hitting him with grenades is really damn difficult. They just... The fuse is just way too long and he's too fast. He's always right on my ass. Poison again? No, oh, he just shot at me, but he missed. Oh, come on. That was. That still hit me. That sprite did not touch me, that exploded sprite. Weirdly enough, it seemed that all the ghouls died very quickly, somehow. Uh, which was good, but. I just don't even know how to do damage again. Like. 
How fast does he heal? Is another question on top of that. Because if he heals fast enough. I thought there was another path in the caves down there to the right. That doesn't lead to that door. I didn't actually check. I didn't pay attention, but I think the door is sealed on top of it. Hmm. I said one more try and then I'll stop, but actually I I wanna do even more now. I assume I will not be able to use Prowler. To get past him. Oh, seriously? Those barrels have a higher range than I think they should have. Yeah, I just don't think I can beat this guy. If I at least had the shotgun, or rather some shotgun ammo, maybe? But with the Magnum, I don't know. I feel like, with that accuracy especially, I have just enough ammo to kill him if every single one of my shots hits him. Using the barrels is just out of the question. He's just too fast. He's too close to me all the time. Like, it's not... It's not really possible for me to use him. Same thing goes for grenades. Like, anything explosive doesn't work. He's always right on my ass. No way of delaying him as far as I can tell. No, wrong way. <sighs> so yeah, this will be... I used it, come on. That delay is really annoying. It feels bad too. Especially with the med kit, there doesn't seem to be any indication on what it is. You just has it out and you're clicking the left mouse button and nothing happens. However, the throwing grenades at him before he even really comes at you seems like it might not be a bad idea. Problem is it's very hard to pull that off reliably. I'm gonna assume that he's immune to toxin. Um, it'd be cool if he isn't, but I don't know. I mean, I could try chugging one at him. But then I sort of miss out on getting the methane grenades in on him. I mean, I know that the methane grenades work, and I know that I have a good chance of possibly killing him or getting him uh, weak enough that I can kill him sort of quickly. Nice! I did it! So yeah, it's uh, kind of like the old Capra Demon trick, except uh, a little more difficult. Okay, there's only this one path, and it leads to a locked door, I would assume. Oh, that, that was good. That felt like a good way to defeat that dude. Just chug grenades at him. Ah, oh, hey, there's the key. Oh, I still have that on me. I don't need that. I'll take this, though. Let's use it right away so it doesn't clutter up the inventory.
But yeah, methods like that are actually the reason why I like games like this. It sort of feels like cheating, except it doesn't. I mean, I still sat here for 40 minutes trying to defeat that guy. And then the solution was so simple all along. He thought he was some hot shot with his uh, regenerating flesh. Blew it all off him. Also worthless to me, sadly, so if you had some jink on you or something, I'd be very uh, grateful. Huh, the ghouls in general? Yeah, like, you know, it's recycling. It makes sense, especially in a cramped environment like this. Tin cans. Oh, man. Oh, we can do it once every you chapter. You are always welcome in the Topo track, Stop Cider. Anything else to me? The Rolling Deaths. I assume those are the demon, th like one of those bug demon things I saw behind the boulder. Yeah, Isopot Demon, that's it. Three adrenal glands. I mean, fire explosions, electricity, energy in general. Okay. So I know. Oh yeah, one of them is lying on. You know, what he has one of them already in his lab that's just sitting there. I think he has an isopod demon in one of the cells, and then there's another one behind the boulder. So I guess those are where I get three of them. But let's not do that now. There was a bed here. I could have saved here the whole time. I feel retarded now. Whatever. Too much good stuff happened. Well, not that much good stuff happened, but one very good thing happened that's that uh, Stink Eye is dead. So, let's not dwell on mistakes of the past. And let's save the game. <laughs> 